for these words. So now, as I mentioned before, the students of the Salesforce class will present their projects. We believe that the best way to learn is to bring your knowledge into some real life uh, problems and scenarios. And for our first um, group of the class, the Agile project delivery using the Salesforce platform, the students have the opportunity to work with a nonprofit that helps people to start their own businesses. And it's named La Chispa. And we also have the fortune to have them here. So let's give them a welcome to Brian and Brittany and Carolina Marquez. So now let's give a welcome to the team who made all this possible, the first team of the Agile Software Presentation. Come to the stage. Demonstration 
of the functionality that we implement. When we first met with Carolina and Ryan uh, from NetChispa, they mentioned that they need a system that can automate and facilitate the way that they register and manage the volunteers that are currently doing their service with them, and uh, the entrepreneurs, the volunteers will lead. With this in mind, we identified uh, the following functionalities. Firstly, users of the system is going to be an HR manager. This person is going to have uh, permissions to create, edit, and delete records within the org, and have their own personalized app to access um, related um, records and functions. The second thing we identified were the focuses of the organization. The first being the volunteers. For the volunteers, an HR manager is going to have the ability to uh, generate or register universities as accounts, assign a required number of hours to complete service, and assign a primary contact. Um, they will also have the ability to um, register multiple volunteers at one time using a CSV file, and from this, assign them to a specific school, and subsequently, um, trigger an email, a welcome email to all the new registers. They'll also have the ability to update returning volunteers in case they didn't, they didn't complete their service the first time around. Furthermore, um, the HR manager will have the ability to create groups, assign volunteers as leaders, and relate them to a group of entrepreneurs. They'll also have the ability to update volunteers' progress, view reports on this progress, and generate a finalization social service completion letter um, once the volunteers have completed their service that can be printed and issued to the university that's participating. They'll also have the ability to reach out with the social service completion email to the volunteers that have completed their service and for those that have completed with exceptional performance also allow them a recruitment option. And the second focus that we identified were the entrepreneurs. For the entrepreneurs, the HR manager will have the ability to um, relate them, uh, to create them easily within the CRM and relate them via a group with other volunteers and entrepreneurs. They'll also have the ability to evaluate entrepreneurs regarding the activities they complete and view reports of these activities by activity or by general by, a, by entrepreneurs. And now we're just going to take a look at a series of video demonstrations of these functionalities. Now, first up is the implementations of Team 1. This team is comprised of Eduardo Lopez, Luis Magaña, and Ricardo Lizarraga. They were in charge of creating um, a functionality within the CRM to register the entrepreneurs. They were in charge of creating a visual progress bar for the volunteers in the layout. They were in charge of uh, creating reports for the volunteers' activities, and lastly, with creating the Lightning app in which the actual HR manager will be able to do all of their activities. Yeah, and Robert, just make sure that the uh, lab is creating them, uh, Juan is gonna create them, and then who else is creating? Um, uh, Marcus is creating. Yeah. So make sure that you look at the face and the name, because you need to create there, so I can, you know, they, they fail a class today. <laughs> Okay, so make sure you recognize the faces. Yeah, the faces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can raise your hand to like, who is it? The people in Madonna. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. We're just gonna take a quick look at the video.
Hi, this is my name here. But you should have stood 15 with the open application. But the CEO and his lieutenant's priority objects like homes, contacts, books, campaigns, as well as data, data import, MailChimp, etc. For greater versatility, any web components was implemented on the home screen to be able to see much flexible dashboards and images. And for a better work environment, the section create notes and history history was added. They were in charge of creating the ability to use the data import wizard to import uh, a multiple uh, volunteers at one time from a CSV file and be able to assign these uh, new volunteers to a specific university. They were also in charge of creating the ability to generate a completion letter once the volunteer has completed their, their social services or once the course is completed uh, or uh, finalized. Hello, my name is Jose Chan and I'm Leti Sake. We were assigned the implementations of, of the functionalities about the data import sector platform and the generation of a PDF when students finish their social service. For the free functionality, we create a continuous guide to turn from ISL file to CSV and then import the data to the Salesforce platform. For the second functionality, we created a section in the campaign paper page that allows us to create a social service letter in PDF format and select it an account of the university. Hello, my name is Hello, my name is Ashanti and my co-worker's name is Daniel Gutierrez. We implemented two functionalities in the project. For the first functionality, we made a configuration for the voltage who decided to come back to private organization. If the volunteer has the same name, the same last name, and the same email than another registered contact, the platform won't be able to save the contact. 